Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in to This is the Shoot. Some breaking news coming out of the WWE. Say what? I said breaking news. What? Breaking news. What? So apparently, Triple H is unhappy with a few of the handful of guys and gals that he had brung back to the WWE and rehired. Before I jump into that, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends about this podcast show. Don't be afraid to leave a comment down below on who you think is 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 underperforming in Triple H's eyes, who he's brung back. So WrestleVote came out with a tweet. I'm told a handful, and I quote, I'm told a handful of talent brought in back in the rehiring wave over the summer have underperformed and severely underwhelmed Triple H and others since returning to the company. End of quote. Who could that be? When you look back at all the guys and gals that Triple H has brought back, he brought back all members except for Stro Strickland, who is in AEW right now, he brung back Hit Row, which is B Fab, Ashante Adonis, and Top Dollar, Dakota Kai, Dexter Loomis, Karrion Cross, Scarlett, Johnny Gargano, Braun Strowman, Candice LeRae, Bray Wyatt, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, and Emma. When you look at that list of talents, and when you think of a handful of guys or gals, a handful of a handful of people, we're going to take five. Now, who could this be? When you look at what's going on inside the wrestling world, in your guys' opinions, who do you guys feel like has not really performed or been up to par um, since the return? Or, or who really hasn't been getting very much reaction or anything? When I look back, and this is my top picks. Doesn't mean you have to agree with me. Like I said, I, I have the comment section down below. What do you guys feel? What do you guys think? You know, who's the ones that's not in your eyes? Not up the poor. For me, it's I'm putting all members of Hit Row. I was excited when they returned. But to me, they just don't... They're not ready for the main roster. They was in NXT when they was let go. I know they was brung up to the main roster right before they got let go, actually. They was only there for like two weeks. Uh, so, correction on that. But, to me, they they're not. They was never ready for the main roster. They was in NXT as a group for a cup of coffee. And then they were shipped up and pulled up to the main roster. And, to me, it just seems like they're not really clicking with the fans. When, when you watch the matches, the fans are not reaction, reacting. You know, Bully Ray says sometimes, you know, you need to, need to watch a match with your eyes closed. I Meaning you just sit there and listen for the crowd reaction. And with Hit Row, I don't hear very much reaction from the fans when Hit Row is in the arena. Um, I know Top Dollar has a very strong opinion. You know, he's very vocal about his thoughts. You know, I think there's... You know, Adonis, I don't really know uh, about his uh, backstage heat and all that. Cause I know Top Dollar had backstage heat beforehand, uh, before they was let go. And that's what they said was the reason why he was let go uh, the first time around. I guess next would be maybe Karrion Cross. And it's, look, love Karrion Cross, Love Karrion Cross, But he hasn't been as good as he was when he was on the NXT brand. Him and Drew had pretty good matches. So I, I really don't think Karrion Cross deserves to be on the list, but when I look about who's been back and who's been back for a long time, maybe I would replace Karrion Cross with Braun Strowman. But Braun Strowman just put over almost in a big way in Saudi Arabia, so there's that as well, and you're seeing Braun Strowman on every single week. Well, you're maybe not seeing Karrion Cross on every single week. So I'm really interested to see what they're going to do with Karrion Cross and Rey Mysterio. Um, I'm not really that concerned about Karrion Cross, but he is a thought that crossed in my head. Another would be Johnny Gargano. Now, I think Johnny Gargano is going to be safe because Triple H loves Johnny Gargano. HBK, Shawn Michaels loves Johnny Gargano. I think with Johnny, he's just in a bad storyline right now. He, I don't like this direction that is going in with Dexter Lumis and The Miz. 
I get it. I understand the story, but at the same time, I, I this isn't that the storyline. I've already made a video about it. It just ain't clicking for me. It, it just isn't doing what I wanted or thought it would be. I uh, it was doing. Uh, it just ain't. It just ain't for me. And then next will be Candice LeRae. Since Candice returned, there's not a big reaction from the fan base from her. She's just kind of there doing her own little thing. I'm sure she's associated with Johnny. Sure, she's associated with, with with Dexter. But until they bring maybe Maurice back and have him and have a tag team match with Candice LeRae and Johnny versus The Miz and Maurice, which is in all likelihood a very good situation, uh, a possibility, I should say. She Candice LeRae really hasn't done much. Now, she's not been no super long. So when I talk about the people that's been back, like Emma, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson, they haven't been back there for very long. So I'm not going to consider them part of this conversation. But I would say the biggest situation, and my 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 opinion is, I think it's Hit Row that's really missing the mark. Um, Karrion Cross doing everything he can. I think it's been the direction. You know, it's hard to compete with Drew McIntyre right out the gate, um, and to get over with him. When you're going against Drew McIntyre because he is so loved by the fans. Um, and Johnny and Candace, I think it's just a storyline thing. I don't think it's anything to be really concerned about. Um, but yeah, I would say Hit Row's missing the mark. That's my opinion. That's who I really think that article is about. Um, anyway, tell me what you guys think down below. Who do you think it is? Hit that like. Hit the subscribe button. Who's underperformed for you? And I'll see you guys later.